Number 82. What is the hydroxide ion concentration, or the OH- concentration, in a solution of 0.125 molar CH3NH2 and 0.130 molar CH3NH3Cl? They give us a balanced equation, and they give us a Kb value of 4.4 times 10 to the negative fourth. So, there's two ways that we can do this problem. Since I have concentrations of both weak acids and weak bases and their conjugates of each other, I can use the Henderson-Hasselbach equation, which is pH equals pKa plus the log of the base divided by the acid, B over A. But this equation is set up for acids. Keep in mind, it's always looking for a pH value, and the pH comes from H+. Plus. We have to have a pKa value, so that's also coming from the acidic component. But in this question, they give us a Kb, and they're looking for the hydroxide ion. So in this case, we're on the base side of things. Using the Henderson-Hasselbach equation isn't probably the right thing or the best way to do it, mainly because there's you know so many different conversions you would have to do to get this equation. So we're going to try a different way. The other way to use buffers is to just go straight to the balanced equation. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to say that we have CH3, NH2 aqueous, okay, so methylamine, plus H2O, and this is coming to equilibrium with CH3, NH3 plus, that's aqueous, plus OH minus, and that's also aqueous. Okay, whoop, so let's just center this a little bit, beautiful. Now, they did say that we're starting off with two concentrations, right? This is the initial solution that didn't come to equilibrium. So I'm just going to use an ice table. So same as what we've been doing this whole entire uh, chapter, right? ICE, ice it up. I stands for initial, right? Maybe I'll just say, okay, this is initial. So all those initial concentrations... Now here they said that we had a 0.125 molar of CH3NH2, and CH3NH2 is right here. So that's what I'm going to put, 0.125. Now if I scan for the CH3NH3Cl, I don't see that, right? I don't see this exactly, but I do see this component right here. And that's what a buffer is. Basically, if you see that you have a ionic compound where only one part of the compound is in your balanced equation, this is disguised as a salt. And the salt is always going to be basically your conjugate of whatever you started with. Now, if we actually just broke this down, right, CH3, NH3, Cl, the break would be between this part, and the chlorine. So you have Cl minus, and then you have CH3, NH3 positive. Now, when you're talking about salts, generally only one part of the salt has acid or base properties. Keep in mind that Cl minus came from HCl. And HCl is one of your six strong acids, so the conjugate is so weak that it's basically classified as neutral. And that's why you won't see Cl in your balanced equation. And that's why you'll only see this part. And if you started off with 0 0.130 molarity of this, just make sure that it's a one-to-one -one, um, ratio. But it is because in this whole compound, I only have one of these. So you would still have the same starting amount for your CH3, NH3 positive, And that's the number that goes here. So always just watch out for those molar ratios. Now keep in mind, liquids are not included in your ice. So they go bye-bye. And since they did not say that you started off with any OH-, minus, I have to say I have none. C stands for the change, right? The change in concentration. And since I did start off with a zero amount of hydroxide, I could only go up from there. So 
since OH is on the product side, all of the products would have to be increasing, which means that I would have to plus by some value on my products, and for my reactants, I would have to subtract. We don't know at the moment what number it is, so I'm just going to label it as a variable, and that variable is x. So minus x plus x and plus x. E stands for equilibrium. And the equilibrium is just the initial and the change combined. So 0 0.125 minus x is 0 0.125 minus x. 0 0.130 plus x, 0 0.130 plus x. 0 plus x is just x. Now we have all of our equilibrium values to plug in for our KB expression. They gave us a KB. So let's just set that up. KB equals concentration of products divided by reactants. There's two products, so they're being multiplied by each other, and one reactant. So let's just write it out. We got CH3, NH3 positive times OH minus, and CH3 NH2 as my reactant. And this is why it's so much easier to use this, because they're searching for the hydroxide. This is it. So we're getting closer. The KB is 4.4 times 10 to the negative fourth equals, if we just plug in those values, we have the two values on the top, one on the bottom. But now here's the problem. If I plug in 0 0.130 plus x, just like it is in the equilibrium line here for N uh, CH3, NH3, any time that you see a plus x or a minus x in equilibrium, that means that you're going to have to do a quadratic. Ugh, I hate quadratics. So I like to try to sneak by it if I can. And how am I going to do that is I just justify my answer by saying, okay, since this KB is really, really small, right, it's something times 10 to the negative fourth, that means that at equilibrium, you have mostly uh, reactants. But then you say to yourself, okay, well, if I started with, you know, a lot of reactants and I'm ending with mostly this number, is this drop going to be a really big drop or is it going to be really, really small? Yeah, it's going to be so small that it's barely going to be any noticeable. So maybe I could just pretend that it's not even going to move the number. And if I say that this drop is really small to that value, the 0.125, maybe this plus for the 0 0.130 is so small that this plus x can be negligible. So I could get rid of the minus x, and I can get rid of the plus x. I can't get rid of this x, however, because this is the variable. I have to have at least one x in my equilibrium line, or else I don't have any variables to solve for. So now I'm going to pretend that this is going to work, and then we just do like a little check at the end just to make sure that it does work. So I have 0 0.130 times x divided by 0 0.125. Now, just comes the algebra. 4.4 times 10 to the negative fourth times 0.125. So calc is out. 4.4 times 10 to the negative fourth times 0.125. I get 5.5 times 10 to the negative fifth equals 0.130x. Want to get x by itself, so divide by 0.130. This will cancel this x out. And now I have x equals this divided by 0.13. And I'm working with three sig figs here, so 4.23, 4.23 times 10 to the negative fourth molarity. And remember, x was the OH minus concentration, which is what we were trying to solve for. So this is the value. So I can just say that OH minus equaled 4.23 times 10 to the negative fourth molarity. Maybe I'll just bring this a little bit down. Now let's just do that check that I was talking about a little bit while ago. 
This check is called the 5% rule. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to just make a percentage and hopefully that your number is five or lower. So you're going to take the X value that you found 4.23 times 10 to the negative fourth. And you're going to divide by always the initial reactant. So 0 0.125 and you're going to multiply by a hundred. If this answer is less than 5%, we're good. We assumed correctly and our answer that we got is good. However, if you do get a number that's higher than five, we gotta go back and include those minus X's and plus X's and do the quadratic equation. So if I just do this, 0.25 times 100, ah, yeah, we get a 0.34%, way lower than five, so we are good to go. So let me just maybe bring this up again and maybe I'll bring this up and just say at the bottom here that this actually equaled 0.34% way lower than 5%, so we're good. So the OH minus concentration is 4.23 times 10 to the negative fourth molarity. And that's it. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you guys are doing great out there. Let's keep studying hard. Good luck on your future tests and quizzes. And if you want to help us out, please hit that subscribe button. My brother and I thank you so much. It's crazy how much this channel has grown, and it's all because of you guys. We will talk to you all later. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.